टी ब्रॉगली इक्वेशन रिप्रजेंट द ट्यू ड्यूलिटी कंसैप्ट ऑफ द मैटर वेवस दैट मैटर कैन शो द वेव एज वेल एज द पार्टिकल नेचर सो इन ऑर्डर टू ड्राइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द डी ब्रॉगली इक्वेशन वी विल कंसिडर दैट that the energy of the photon photon is given by e is equal to h nu where h is planck's constant and nu is the frequency and we can also write it like this h nu सी वाई लैमडा सी इज द बिलासिटी ऑफ लाइट इन फ्री स्पेस लैमडा इज द वेव लेंथ ऑफ द फोटोन सो इफ वी कंसिडर दैट इफ मास ऑफ मास ऑफ अ पार्टिकल इज converted into energy energy then we know that the einstein according to the einstein Einstein's mass energy relation reflect that mass it can be converted into the energy and that relation is given by e is equal to mc square so let this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 now equating these two equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and So we can write this m c square is equal to h c u i lambda, and on rearranging it, we can write lambda is equal to h y m c. So this is the. represent the wavelength of the matter waves and this term represent the momentum associated with the photon mc represent the momentum of a photon and this lambda is the de broglie wavelength of d probably wave if we consider in place of photon if we consider the material particle if we consider a material particle instead of instead of a photon whose mass is m and which is moving with velocity v then the momentum of a particle is given by p is equal to m into v and we can rewrite this expression 3 lambda is equal to h y m v or i can write p so this is 
this is the wavelength of de Broglie wave or we also call it de Broglie wavelength and this expression shows that wave character as well as particle character now we can write this expression in term of energy or in term of kinetic energy so in order to write this uh, expression this is expression number four in term of kinetic energy we know that the kinetic energy of a material particle is given by half m v square this is equal to say e so multiplying and divide it on this side with m i can write this m square v square upon 2m is equal to e and this is p square so you can write this e is equal to p square upon 2m and p is equal to 2m e so we will use this equation 5 in equation 4 so this lambda expression h y p comes out to be two m e this is the de Broglie relation in term of the kinetic energy of a particle this is the another form of of the expression in term of kinetic energy now we can also rewrite this de Broglie expression in term of uh, temperature also so in order to write this expression in term of temperature we write by using the kinetic theory of gases so according to the kinetic theory of gases we know that the average kinetic energy of a particle is given by e is equal to half m b square we can write this is in term of temperature kt where k is Boltzmann constant and value of k is equal to 1.38 into 10 to power minus 23 joule per Kelvin and T is absolute temperature so by using this so again multiplying these both expression with m and dividing both with m i can write this m square v square upon 2m and 3 by 2 m kt no this is equal to 3 by 2 kt so the, this is p square by 2m this is equal to 3 by 2 kt and uh, here i can write p square is equal to by 
multiplying this with this factor this comes out to 3 m k t so this is the value of p square and value of p comes out to be value of p is comes out to be 3 m k t and so this is the relation of momentum in term of temperature say this is equation number 5 uh, 6 so now we will use this expression in this de broglie expression let we know that p is equal to under root 3 m k t and we know that lambda is a de broglie wavelength is equal to h y p so this is 3 m k t and root so we write de broglie expression in term of absolute temperature similarly we can also write this de broglie relation in term of potential difference in order to write in term of potential difference we will consider that that an electron accelerated is accelerated through a potential difference of v volts then the work done by the electric field is equal to work done by electric field is appear in the form of gain in kinetic energy kinetic energy of the particle and we can write this is ev is equal to half m v square so similarly we multiply and divide it with m square v square upon 2m or i can write p square upon 2m so from this we can write p square is equal to 2 m e v and p is equal to 2 m e v and root so this we wrote in term of potential difference v so this is equation number 7 so now so to use this expression in equation number 4 d broglie equation h y p h upon 2 m e v so this is d broglie expression in term of potential difference so by if uh, we know the potential difference we can calculate that what is the wavelength associated with the for example if we consider the electron or any particle whose mass is known and we apply the potential difference potential difference is known that is known from that we can get the value of the what is the wavelength associated with a given particle